So it's at the intersection of Crawford Street, Coolidge Hill Road, some other major thing. And there it is, heading, oh yes, Arlington Street. Some pleasant little Watertown backlog. So there you see the trailhead before all the cars overwhelm it. And here's the Watertown Greenway Cenotaph. This is where it all begins, so we'll follow this thing. Unlike every other quality thing the Commonwealth ever does, well, who knows what it cost, and while it is getting a bit run down because of probably a lack of money, got to starve the baby or whatever it is that old clown in Weston thinks. Uh, but yeah, you can see it sports bicyclists. They're always good at ferreting out these things. Won't be surprised to run into a dog walker or two. Mostly just a useful traverse corridor through the old mini city of Watertown, home to a very large concentration of emigres and refugees from Armenia. best as can be determined from the strange little sign I just photographed. Pedestrians are supposed to sort of walk in the middle and bicyclists are supposed to ride on the outer edges. It doesn't really work with human habit though and no one seems to be that cognizant of the plan. <laughs> so the bicyclists just have to thread around as best they can. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You know, we suck. <laughs> it further reinforces A, people don't read signs anymore. Reading is no longer the main way we find stuff out. B, their habits of sidewalk use are not about to be significantly modified by such feeble entreaties and see bicyclists are adept at workarounds. Looks like we're along the backside of some large and asinine commerce thing. A target, I believe. Oh, cool, here's another antique abandoned switch thing. Nice. They've made a little industrial monument of it. And what does this cenotaph tell us, if anything? It's already been graffitied by idiots. Oh, look at this. It's a cool attempt to explain the entire awesome little system that I was yapping about. Not bad. That's where we came from. 
this is where it heads. And so we go. Little gear stowage occurred. Ah, I see the gaudy red roof of the Arsenal Mall system off in the distance. The gods of commerce are well pleased. Yes, I hear your little ding-a-ding. <laughs> Doofus. Good lord. So the Commonwealth has dreamed up these bullshit instructions where you're supposed to walk in the middle and the bicycles are on the outer edge. Except no one really understands this. I'm actually abiding by this entreaty. <laughs> and my attempts to do so seem to be puzzling to some of the bicyclists as well. The problem with the Commonwealth is it has too many lawyers and it thinks too much. It gives itself migraines. Kind of like Seattle. It runs itself into the ground, attempting to dream, help, and account for all conceivable contingencies because the insurance industry here is huge. So this is principally of utility and not necessarily much of a scenic route, but this is exactly what the bicycle and pedestrian world needs a leveler playing field from our usual miserable options of going where motorists go. Ah yes, this is probably the major intersection. Authorized vehicles only. Funny little park. Yeah, that looks like the newly condoized, yuppified mall. This used to be a place where huge and majestic things were made at the height of the American Imperial Empire fantasies. Back before that all became crass and we don't talk about it, we just do it quietly and pretend that we don't. But, uh, <laughs> geez, how we've changed. Used to make stuff, now we take stuff. And this is, I bet, a home stretch for all this. I wonder if it goes by the vainglorious mansion some general made.
looks like it just terminates up there. We'll see. all the way to Cambridge. This is the end of the little water town Greenaway way. There's the old Arsenal complex. The Army Materials Technology Laboratory. We even have a cannon or two to add to my collection. School Street, it would appear. We're at the intersection of School and Arsenal Streets. 